Funding for the following program was provided by... This is who we are, First Southern National Bank. Diamond Gusset Jeans, the original gusset jean. Careful craftsmanship, continual improvement. Diamond Gusset Jeans, born and worn in the USA since 1987. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moron Brothers. Oh, oh thank you very yeah. much. Uh, God bless you. We appreciate you hanging with us. Y'all have heard some good music tonight. I know you have. Yes, you have. Yeah. Well, we fixing to put an end to all that, brother, I'll tell you. Well, I went down the hill about 12 o'clock and I set her up down on a big flat rock. Looked in the water and bled my soul. It was a big catfish jumping in that hole. I'm a going fishing. Everybody fishing. I'm a going fishing too. You can bet your life you will love them. Why might catch more fish than you? Any fish you bite if you got good bait. Here's a little something I'd like to relate. When it comes to biting the fish, won't wait. I'm a going fishing. Everybody fishing. I'm a going fishing too. Everybody's fishing, I'm a going fishing too. 
Well, thank y'all very oh, much. Oh, thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. I didn't know it, but there is such a thing as an international game warden. Yeah, we found that out the hard way. We was right there at the mouth of Kentucky River, Carrollton, where it empties into the Ohio River. It's a big, deep hole. And right across the Ohio River on the right-hand side is Ohio, and on the left-hand side is Indiana. We're sitting out there in the boat fishing. We've got a stringer full of fish. Here comes this man pulling up in uniform. He said, boys, he said, y'all having any luck? Yeah, buddy. We pulled him over in the boat. He said, y'all got a bunch of good fish here. He said, uh, let me see that fish right there. And he took his finger and he put it in the business end of that catfish and said, that fish from Ohio, you got your Ohio fishing license? Burley said, yes, sir, I do. I said, yes, sir. He picked up another one, done it the same way. He said, that's Indiana. Boys, you got the Indiana license? Yeah, we, we're good to go here. Rest of them look like they're from Kentucky. You got the Kentucky license, I'm, I'm certain, ain't you? Yes, sir, we do. He said, boys, y'all got it all together right here. So where y'all from? Burley stood up, bent over, said, you so smart, you tell me. <laughs> He gets us in trouble everywhere we go. I, I was going into Walmart over at home one day. Yeah, and we were down there at Walmart. Some guy was pushing about 30 of them carts across the parking lot. He hollered at him and said, hey, buddy, don't think somebody else want to use one of them? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Over at home one day, I was getting ready to go into the Walmart store there. Yeah, and we I, saw a guy in there. <laughs> he had a been to the doctor. He had a patch over his eye. I said, Burley, look at that guy with one eye. He said, all right, where? <laughs> Go ahead. Go. I weren't home one day. I was going in the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> guy come walking out there carrying a grandfather clock. Old drunk come around the corner, run into him, knocked him down, broke his grandfather clock all over the sidewalk. Old boy jumped up, said, Dang on, man, won't you watch where you're going? Old drunk said, Won't you carry a pocket watch like I do? My grandfather's clock was too tall for the shelf, so it stood many years on the floor. It was taller by far than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and always his treasure and pride. But it stopped once, never to run again. On the day that the old man died Ninety years without slumbering Life seconds numbering Stop one, never to run again On the day that the old man died In watching this pendulum swing to and fro, many hours it spent as a boy. And in childhood and manhood, the clock seemed to know and share in his grief and his joy. It struck twenty-four when he walked through the door with a blooming and beautiful bride. Then it stopped once, never to run again on the day. Without slumbering, life seconds numbering. Stop once, never to run again on the day that the old man died.
It rang an alarm in the dead of night, an alarm that the years had been done. And we knew that his soul was pummeling on its flight, the hour of departure had come. Still the clock kept its time, with a soft and muffled chime, we silently stood by its side. West Virginia here a while back. We got a buddy over where he's the sheriff over there, and he said he was in court the day before and had this lady there in court and her lawyer called her over and said, I need to tell you something. said, I got good news and bad news. She said, give me the bad news. He said, well, the blood sample came back from the crime scene and it matches your DNA. She said, well, what's the good news? He said, your cholesterol is down 20 points. <laughs> but anyway, she almost got away with it, and then they found this note in her purse. It says here, a letter to Tad. Dear Tad, I'm writing to say what an excellent product you have. I've used it all through my married life, as my mom told me it was the best. Now that I am in my 50s, I find it even better. In fact, about a month ago, I spilled some red wine on my new white blouse. My inconsiderate and uncaring husband started to berate me about how clumsy I was and generally become a pain in my neck. One thing led to another, and somehow I ended up with a lot of his blood on my white blouse. I tried to get the stain out using a bargain detergent, but it just wouldn't come out. After a quick trip to the grocery store, I purchased a bottle of liquid tied with bleach. And to my surprise and satisfaction, all of the stains came out. In fact, they came out so well, the detectives who came by yesterday told me the DNA test on my blouse were negative. And then my attorney called and said I would no longer be considered a suspect in the disappearance of my husband. <laughs> what a relief. Thank you once again for having such a great product. Got to go now. Have to write a letter to the Hefty Bag Company. You know, I never thought of it, but I just gave about half the crowd an idea. Yeah, uh, you, you need to think about it. I, I was talking to an old fella the other day, come up to us at the Bluegrass Festival. I was picking on my wife, and he said, how long you been married? And I said, well, I've been married 25 years, this woman. Got a good thing going on. She's a good country gal, cans, and good cook. I said, how long you been married? He went, oh, I've been married 61 years to the same old woman. I don't even look when I cross the street no more. <laughs> uh, the best stories, the best joke you ever hear really happened. That really happened right there. <laughs> what we got now? What about the Greenville Trust? Oh, well, if you do, really want to. That was awful about Nick and Tim, wasn't it? Yes, I know Nikki. you. You know that uh, Nikki, she was in a bad car accident here a while back. And yeah, God love thank, her heart. But, thankful, thankful. But, uh, still alive, and we got her. Them. But she here about five years ago. She got her a new truck, big truck, and she told Tim, "She get up in there, and let me show you how fast my new truck could go." 
Well, they got up in there, and boy, she took off down the road getting it. Tim, he's sitting over looking at the wind, you know. <laughs> that ain't the story I was wanting you to tell right there. I don't know how you're going to do it. That's what I'm telling. Okay. <clears throat> they going down the road. She's flying in that truck. Tim, he's sitting over grinning, looking at me. She sees a train coming, go across the road. She said, watch how fast my truck go. I'll beat that train. Well, she carbided that truck and sped up real fast. He said, what are you doing? She said, I'm going to show you how fast my truck go. I'll beat that train. He said, you can't beat that train. You're going to get us both killed. Well, she seen she couldn't beat the train, so she cog-locked it. Went sliding down the road sideways in that big truck. Them towers are squawking. Slid the screeching halt about that far from that freight train. Tim sitting there with his eyes about that big, watching that train go by right in front of him. Like, them old rubber tars was a smoking, burning on that black top. Nicky looked over at him and said, Do you smell that? He said, I reckon so. I'm sitting in it. And I remember as a boy having one of one and joy. I'd watch the trains as he go by. With the whistles, lonesome sound, you can hear miles around. Yes, she rode across the Greenville Trail so high But the whistles don't sound like they used to Lately, not many trains go by Hard times across this land Me no work for the railroad man And the Greenville Trail so now don't seem to hide Stand with a ring bowl in my hand, watch the freight trains up against the sky. With the black smoke trailing back, is a mood along the track that rode across the Green Deal trestle high. But the whistles don't sound like they used to. Lately, not many trains go by. Hard times across this land mean no work for the railroad man. And the Greenville Trussel now don't seem to hide. When along some whistles whine, I get rambling on my mind. Lord, we say it still sounded that way. As I turn ahead for home, she'd rumble low and long Into the sunset at the close of the day But the whistles don't sound like they used to Lately not many trains go by Hard times across this land mean no work for the railroad man And the Greenville Trussel now don't seem to hide And all the Greenville Trussel now don't seem to hide Thank you, train lovers. All right, then. Thank you all very much. We appreciate that. Jesse James, there's a story over home, but Jesse James one time, he jumped on the train over at home, pulled his pistols out, said, my name's Jesse James. I'm going to rob all the men and kiss all the women. The old boy down front jumped up and said, look here, Mr. James, it's one thing if you rob us men, but I must demand you leave our women alone. A woman in the back hollered, sit down, mister, let Jesse rob his train. <laughs> well, I started picking a guitar when I was 10 years old. And I listened to all them country licks on the radio. 
But lick it, I remember both, and I guess I always will. Hit the guitar boogie constantly, played by my Uncle Bill, and he'd go. He'd sing him earnest up songs, he could do them all so well. He played him Jimmy Scanner tunes, he'd love the music too. But the thing that he did best of all, and I loved it most by far, was the guitar boogie country leg up on his old guitar, and he go. Well, many years are gone now, and I pick all the time. And I've learned a few of them country licks from guitar buddies of mine. But the lick that I still pick the most, and I guess I always will. Hit the guitar boogie country lick, I learned from Uncle Bill. Well, Uncle Bill is gone now, but his memory still lives on. In the music that I play, and the lyrics of my song. And each time I pick up my old guitar and each time I start to pick In the memory of my Uncle Bill I hit that boogie leg And he go Thank you We Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you so much. God bless we you. Love you. Y'all be careful driving home because we're walking. Oh, you are. Thank you very much for coming out tonight. And remember, if you want to be on Homemade Jam, all you have to do is get on our Facebook page, load one of your videos, or have somebody else. Load. If you don't have a Facebook page, find somebody who does, send it to our Facebook page, and you can be on Tim Farmer's Homemade Jam. See you next week. Thank you, ma'am. It's finally time for homemade jam.